Hi, I'm Jay Reed. Welcome back to Porsche Danbury and this wonderful Porsche Cayman GTS. Before we start though, it's important to see where the GTS sits within the overall lineup of Porsche sports cars. This, after all, is your first opportunity to get into a flat six Porsche sports car. Most compare it to its most close sibling, the GT4, whereas I say that it really should be compared to the 911 Carrera 2. Let me explain. Porsche has long held that its 911 model is the flagship sports car, and over the years it has been very careful not to usurp it with the Pretender, Boxster and Cayman models. It's getting very close now though. Take a look at this in terms of model hierarchy and price. The range of sports cars start with the standard Cayman and Boxsters. These have four cylinder engines with different levels of power depending on whether you go for the base model and its stripped out more racier sibling the T model which both have 300 horsepower or the S model which still has the four cylinder engine but which is tweaked to 350 horsepower. And then next on the list is this car, the GTS with its four litre naturally aspirated flat six engine with 395 horsepower under here somewhere and 3166 pounds so it's still a light car with its engine in the right place and not acting as a pendulum sitting above these cars we are still in the cayman range with the gt4 with its 414 brake horsepower and the boxster spider which shares the same engine the Cayman GT4 costs from $100,200 and weighs 3,208 pounds in manual form. So that's nice and straightforward and logical then you'd think, right? You spend a bit more money and you get a bit more power. But what if I told you that the cheapest Porsche 911, the Carrera 2, costs 99,200, has 379 bhp and weighs 3,354 pounds? Yes, all of a sudden you see very clearly that there is no 911 premium over the top models of Cayman anymore. So whilst the easiest comparison to make is whether the additional 15 grand is worth it for a GT4, actually the real comparison is whether this softer, easier to drive, easier to use car is comparable with a full-blown 911, the Carrera, which is also the usable 911, not built for the track. But let's take a look at the inside and see what we make of that. Well, firstly, you notice that this car is smaller than the 911, of course. It's a two-seater and it feels noticeably more compact than the 911. We will discover on our drive if this makes it more nimble. But if it is space that you're looking for, then the 911 wins that one, at least for passengers. Although when we look at the amount of space for luggage, the reverse is true. The front and rear trunks actually make this car quite a usable and capacious car and you can even use the rear parcel shelf to strap things down on. Otherwise this particular car is quite well specified and comes in just a fraction under $100,000. So around the price of a 911 with no extras on it at all. This particular one has the 7 speed PDK, the adaptive sports seats plus package with which is 18 way seats with memory package and navigation. So all the things you need, nothing you don't, I suspect. And this one has a few cues showing it is the GTS version, but doesn't have the GTS interior with its Alcantara seats. I rather like it. I like the quality and the feel of leather. And on the outside, it's a bit more conservatively styled than the GT4, uh, but it still has enough indications to let you know that this one has a bit more poke than the standard four cylinder ones. It is lowered by 20 millimeters and has the PASM sports suspension system. It also has the black sports exhaust, which you can activate from inside, and I'll show you that later. And of course, it has these lovely 20 inch black wheels, uh, matte black wheels, which I think finish it off in this beautiful uh, color here wonderfully. more of the inside as you can see you get the usual Porsche quality and the way things are put together the fit and fixtures are wonderful the beautiful Porsche clock 
standard in this car. You get the beautiful satellite navigation actually looking like a satellite picture. The usual uh, shortcut controls here, air conditioning, and then down here the controls for the suspension, the adapted suspension, the exhaust as you've already seen, and you can uh, raise the rear spoiler should you want to. And just in case you were wondering where you're going to put your drinks in this car, it is quite neatly hidden. There's a piece of good design here by Porsche. And then close it up again so that it still looks smart and clean looking. Very cool. And the seats literally adjust in any direction you can think of. These adaptive sports memory seats, very comfortable. If you can't get comfortable in these, there aren't any seats that you're going to get comfortable in because they literally go in every direction. So let's get this car out on the road and see what it's like to drive. We've spoken enough about the outside and the inside. I must warn you, I might be a little bit gushing. I've spent a bit of time with it this morning already and fallen a little bit in love with it. So if I am a little bit gushing, I apologize in advance. All right, as I said, I've spent a bit of time this morning with this car and remember that my starting position is a 911 996 Carrera 2 and this it seems to me is an updated version of that but let's get it out on the road and show you what it's all about these seats are fabulous by the way worth the extra money I would say you can get them just the way you like them they hold you in bolsters and length underneath your knees and all of that stuff uh, perfectly comfortable but also quite supportive when you're going around a corner as well so uh, off we go down the road now when I drove one of these before I drove one of the last generation Caymans I thought I remembered a lot of noise coming from underneath this engine hatch here and it being quite noisy in the cabin but actually that's not at all the case in this one it is perfectly quiet there's no noise coming from inside the cabin at all so if anybody's heard me say that in the past just ignore me because that was bilge uh, but there we are now if I switch into my uh, quiet mode on my exhaust even when I give it the beans it's still not very noisy which is nice when you just want to potter along poodle along quietly but I'm going to go back into loud mode now and before we go around this corner I'm going to stiffen up my suspension as well put on the adaptive sports the, the sports setting and I'm going to go into sport plus on the little manatino here and see what happens when we go into its most sporty mode well as we can already see it's hanging onto the gears I don't want to go too fast because this is a brand new car and you know, I'm a big believer of just treating things with respect. It does hang on to the gears and it went around that corner a treat, I have to say, even though we weren't going flat out. I think I will put it back into an ordinary mode now and we'll just cruise along in silence. Very nice. Steering perfectly weighted, as you would imagine, of a modern Porsche sports car. Uh, not really very much to say about the steering. The ride is supple when I take it out of the uh, sports adaptive suspension mode. And let's just give it a little bit of poke just to get past this. Oh yeah, this has got some uh, power, okay. And that gearbox shifts up nicely, very quickly. The PDK that we've come to know and love in the modern era of Porsche sports cars. Carries itself on very nicely, I must say. We'll just indicate back in and go slowly along. I'm very impressed with this car, I have to say. I'm not somebody who particularly enjoys uh, very firm cars. I've mentioned it before that before this I had a, before my 911 I should say, I had a Golf GTI which was rock hard on the suspension. And when you're up for it, there is absolutely nothing like it. Um, but when you're not, and you're, for example, anyone who knows uh, Manhattan and the roads into Manhattan will know that the, the steering there 
uh, the rather the roads there I should say are full of potholes and you find yourself quite jarred on a firm suspension so this car to me and I you know I guess you would have expected this out of the GTS something a little bit softer than the uh, than the GT4 and it is but it's not a soft car this is a sports car and it has the option that adaptive sort of sports suspension gives you the option of you know whether you want something a bit firmer and of course the Manatino you can put it into Sport Plus hang on to the gears and you can even in this one uh, because it is the GTS with the sports exhaust you can listen to the change when I push the sports exhaust button now you couldn't hear it quite so easy as we crashed over a bump but uh, it uh, it gives you what you need uh, and that exhaust doesn't seem to be very droney either when you're uh, just driving along I'm going to keep it in uh, sports exhaust mode for a while yeah it's I've enjoyed my time with this car this has really got me thinking I mean sure there are other cars that I drive which you know I think yeah could I afford that that would be nice and I quickly get over it I think this one's going to be a little harder to get over um, and even though I love having a 911, you know, the icon of the 911, uh, I'm not uh, not at all, uh, you know, immune to having a, a Cayman and just enjoying it. Uh, this is a really lovely. It's really lovely. So I think this car shows real maturity on the part of Porsche. I don't think it's going to steal any sales at all from the 911. I think if you're a 911 customer and a die-hard 911 fan, you're going to go for a 911. A Cayman isn't going to persuade you. But if you're looking for a very accomplished sports car made by the king of all sports car manufacturers, Porsche, then this will do very nicely for you. I'm seriously impressed with this car. Maybe something as a replacement for my own 911. Let's see. Anyway, thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate having you along for the ride. I hope you've enjoyed it. Do stay with me for more films coming. If you've got this far, give me a like. Perhaps also consider subscribing if you have enjoyed it. Otherwise, I'll see you in the next one.